Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Carlos and this is Kristen Hi. from Beauty Meow. Welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today we have a review of an upcoming release from Creed called Florally. Florally. Keep it right there and we'll tell you all about it. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. So yesterday we went to Boca Raton. Yep, Town Center, Boca Raton. She took me around to all the department stores so I could do a little sniffing. And we were in Neiman Marcus. And we found out that there's a new creed coming out called Flora Lee. And we got to smell it. I know, it was exciting because I think we just kind of walked in and there was the display. And it was like, oh, oh, hello there. I'm like, because <laughs> I heard about it and I was like, oh my God, it's here. But it actually isn't for sale yet. They just have, I guess, to promote it and for pre-sale purposes and what have you. I believe they're going to be selling it in the beginning of August or in August. Yes. So in a few weeks, right around the corner. It's coming out this year. It's a 2018 release. It's a feminine release. And what are some of the notes that we well, There's call? lilac, tuberose, rose, amber, musk, lily of the valley. It comes off as a very effervescent kind of sparkly um, floral scents, kind of like mm -hmm. a melange of the different florals, and then it kind of dries down with the cedar and amber into something I think is a little bit more effervescent. And the sales associate seemed to be very particular that we understood that it was a Bulgarian rose, that it's a special kind of rose that they like to use. On the paper, I said, mmm, this is pretty nice. It seemed very fresh and very Creed-like, if you will. But when I tried it on my skin, it was very floral. Right. And this is a type of fragrance that needed to dry down. I think when we both tried it on our skin initially, we were like, like not hating it, but a little underwhelmed. But after mm -hmm. we wore it longer, we were like, oh, like this actually became something really, really nice. So just for the sake of transparency, this is take two. We actually recorded yeah. another video at her home yesterday. This is my mom's home. and. Uh, we kind of bashed it. We kind of bashed it a little bit and then... After wearing it, and that's the thing, drying down is so important. So I think you even texted me like a few hours later and you're like, oh my gosh. I think we need to redo this review. Yeah, because, and then I wore it earlier today and as I was wearing it, I was like, oh my gosh, it actually became something really special after I'd say about two to three hours of wear. Yeah, so the dry down that I loved better than the overly floral part was a very clean white musk Mm -hmm. and perhaps a little cedar, not too overbearing, but it was just, it was very bright and happy and I liked that effervescence that... Yes, it's very youthful. It's mm -hmm. definitely a more youthful Creed fragrance. Like when you think of fragrances like Agua Fiorentina or Florissimo, mm -hmm. you're thinking of fragrances to me that are a little bit more sophisticated and mature, but this is very youthful and playful. And it... The dry down I found to be kind of in the Aqua... For Fiorentine, Fiorentine yeah, definitely. kind of family. And it's funny how it transitioned. It really went from that to that. You gotta test. You have to test. Testing's really important. And you also have to just understand that environment and wear time, mm -hmm. things are gonna change. Like I know, like when I used to work at a fragrance shop, people would spray it and it would be the initial opening and they'd be like, I'd love it. And then they would hate it. You never wanna judge a fragrance by its opening because it's there are levels and there's dry downs and uh, it could very well change. Exactly, just like a fragrance like we tried in the opening, we were kind of like, this is nice, and we don't know if it's Creed pricing, because for 2.5 ounces you're looking at spending $450, and we were kind of like, but then- 50 you, or 15? 415. 415. For 2.5. At least a little better than 450, almost <laughs> a little 500 with it's tax. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, after it dried down, it became something special. And I think that's ultimately where, you know, we're practicing what we preach. It's like, you know, we wanted to do a completely different video because the dry down really impressed us. Yes. The opening was kind of, mm. So I don't think this is 
a masculine fragrance. I think it's definitely for the ladies. Um, I do think a guy could pull it off yeah. though. I think the musky cedar definitely, but it's most definitely more of a feminine fragrance. Well, just like Viking smells amazing on her. I smelled on her, it was like, wow, what are you wearing? And I, I liked Viking well enough, but it smelled like another, something totally entirely different on your skin and it would really wore well on you, so. I love Viking. Okay, so that's our thoughts on the upcoming Creed's Floralie. We'll be out in early August, and please do come back and let us know what you think of it. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, Rob. My pleasure. You're the best. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you haven't hit up her channel, Beauty Me Out, hit her up. She's nearing 5,000 subs. If you haven't a subscriber, click on the bell icon so you don't miss notifications on the reviews, the content giveaways, and all the fragrant fun always happening right here at BFL. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll see you at the next review.